Hi, this is Info Puppet, and you know, I made a tutorial on how to turn an image into a puzzle, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't like puzzles! My girl just bought a puzzle. And if that's not bad enough, and then I hear, Oh look, Info Puppet, it's 10,000 pieces! And then she says, You're not gonna believe this, this is awesome! My sister just called, and she's got a puzzle too! So when we're done with this, we're gonna switch so we can do another one! Blah! Somebody help me! Anyways, you're gonna love this next tutorial. It is on putting on a digital tan. Check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This will work fine in PE 10 and PE 11. This is the image we are working on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Layers panel and right click and select Duplicate Layer. Then I'm going ahead and select OK and I'm going to right click again and select Duplicate Layer and select OK again. So now we've got three images, all the same. We're going to select the center layer now and turn off the visibility of the top and the bottom layers. We're working on the second layer. Now we're going to select the Paint Bucket Tool. Love the Paint Bucket Tool. Now I'm going to select the color swatch. And of course I want a brown. So what I did was I took the white sliders and slid them down to like orange. And then I selected a color down here near the black. The exact color I used is 685339. Just type it in the box. It's 685339. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now we're going to click. Beautiful! Look at that! It's a beautiful tan! Not! Alright, what we got to do to make it work is we got to change the normal mode to hard light. What do I mean? What does this say? This layer is hidden! Blah, blah, blah! Well, it's because I got to select the center layer again. It had the first layer and that was hidden. There it is! That's what we want for right now. Okay. So what we've got right now, let's first of all make all the layers visible. On the top layer we've got the regular image. The center image is basically we use the paint bucket tool and change the mode to hard light. And then we've got a regular image on the bottom layer. Okay, right now we're going to select the quick selection tool. And I want to make a quick selection on my middle layer. But it's going to be really hard because the tone is all basically the same, so Photoshop Elements really is going to be too hard for it to figure out what the selection is. So for that reason, we're going to turn off the visibility of our center layer and we're going to work on the top layer. Okay. So now I'm just going to left click, hold and drag, and you'll find that the quick selection tool has no problem selecting. Now. We have to start with isolating your subject on white. If you don't know how to do it, click on the tutorial on the left. Right now I'm hitting the Alt or Option key so I can subtract from my selection. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll do a little bit of fine adjustments here on the arm. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the visibility of the top layer again and turn on the visibility of my center layer and now the selection will be on my center layer where I want it! I tricked Photoshop Elements! Now we're going to go to Select and Feather and just one pixel is fine. Now we're going to go back to Select and Select Inverse and that selects everything but the girl. Now I'm just going to hit Delete on my keyboard! Okay, now we're going to go to the toolbar and select the Magic Eraser tool. I want the tolerance all the way down to 6. I'm just going to get rid of the rest of the white background by left clicking and releasing. Okay, now we need to get rid of the bathing suit. 
because what we're trying to achieve here is just to have the skin isolated without the background or the bathing suit. So now I've switched to the regular eraser tool and I'm just going to clean up a little bit around this area. This is actually in fast motion. And now we're just going to clean up down here a little bit. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're just going to get rid of the teeth and the eyes. We don't want to give them a tan. She looks gorgeous! Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the layers panel, we're going to turn on the visibility of the top layer, and we'll turn on the visibility of the bottom layer. Now we're going to select the top layer and add a layer mask. Alright, now we're going to go to the color swatch. If you don't have the black and white, click here. And if you don't have black on top, click there. I just selected the brush tool. And I want the opacity all the way down to 16%. And now here's where the magic happens, you ready? Get ready, this is so awesome! I'm gonna brush on the tan! Look at that! I don't even have to stay in the lines, I can go over the bathing suit! I can't screw it up! It's foolproof! It's the perfect digital tan! All right, now I just want to show you something. The reason that we have this bottom layer here, see if I turn off the invisibility, see what it looks like? So that's why we have that down there. I just wanted you to know why that's there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, what we're gonna do is check out some before and afters. Here is before and after. And before and after. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor and leave a comment. Thanks again from Info Puppet. <laughs>